In this video, we're going to attempt to find the sides of a rectangle, given information about the perimeter. We're told the perimeter of a rectangle is 44, and that the length is 5 less than double the width. The implied information here that we hope you remember from geometry is that the perimeter is equal to 2 lengths plus 2 widths. So let's look at what we know about the length and the width. The length, we're told, is 5 less than double the width. 5 less than means we're subtracting 5, because subtraction is built backwards. Subtracting 5 from double the width means we need to take the width and multiply it by 2. We aren't given the width, so let's just say it's x. Double the width, then, would be 2x. To find the perimeter, we can replace the length in our formula with 2x minus 5, and we can replace the width from our formula with simply x. Perimeter is equal to 2 lengths, which would be 2x minus 5, plus 2 widths, which would be simply x. The other piece of information we haven't used yet is we know the perimeter is actually 44. So instead of writing p, let's write down that the perimeter is 44. We now have an equation we can solve in order to find the width and the length. Whenever we have parentheses, we start by distributing through the parentheses. 44 equals 4x minus 10 plus 2x. After distributing, we always check to combine like terms on each side of the equation. 44 equals 6x minus 10. We now have a two-step equation we can solve by adding 10 to both sides. 54 equals 6x. Finally, dividing both sides by 6 will tell us what x is. x is equal to 9. Notice we clearly labeled the width as our x. The width is equal to 9. The length is 2x minus 5. 2 times 9 minus 5, because we just found x to be 9. Or 18 minus 5, which is 13. We have a 9 by 13 rectangle. Notice if we have a rectangle that's 9 by 9, with a height of 9 and a length of 13, adding up all the sides will give us a perimeter of 44. By clearly labeling how we will algebraically represent the length and the width, and using the fact that the perimeter is 2 lengths and 2 widths, we can quickly make an equation we can solve for our variables.